one of Jacques's main tenets at the Clyburn is to keep things in the family. He likes the Clyburn family. He likes the concept of the mm -hmm. Clyburn family. That's why you're here, Rachel, because you're part of the Clyburn family. And our guest right now is certainly a big part of the Clyburn family as well. He is 2005 Van Clyburn International Piano Competition gold medalist, Alexander Kobrin. Thanks for joining us on Great the pleasure. webcast. Thank you. Now, you are a very busy teacher these days, right? Looks like it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is school out for now? Yes, it is. Yeah. How many students do you have at Eastman? At this point, um, 18, 19. That's a lot of students. Yes. Right? Yeah. That, now, how do you, what's your day like? Do you, do you practice first and then teach, or theoretically, how does that Theoretically, work. that's their routine. I would like to keep uh, the practice in the morning, first half with them, then teach. And uh, also, does it work out that it, way? It works <laughs> great because students normally have classes in the morning, and mm -hmm. so. Uh, and I, personally, I've tried one year. I've tried to practice after teaching, and I just realized that I get so worn out and emotionally worn out after five, six hours of teaching that it's just impossible to maintain that level of focus for practicing. So. I switch it around. I think it works good. Uh, I hope students are not complaining too much. <laughs> Actually, I'm curious. I guess, sorry, um, because we were talking to Aviram Reichardt yesterday mm -hmm. from the, the jury about his philosophy as a teacher, and if you have one, I don't know, um, that you're working on, or like, how how is your approach to teaching in general? Well, you know, um, I think that uh, that was my goal for, for all these years I've been teaching. Uh, students are so unique and special and, and their personality is absolutely extraordinarily different mm -hmm. and I think that's what as a teacher I'm trying to help them to open up their own individuality and personality because they all of them have their unique voice and to discover that voice and to have to express that voice I think is a big part of teaching. But you studied with the fame teacher Lev Naumov. That's correct. Yeah. Was that was his teaching like that, or are you are you taking a, a more, I don't know, I'm, I'm trying to think the Russian school, you yeah. know, is, is so stern, and I've heard actually stories where it's very, quite intimidating, I think. Um, it's frightening. Yeah. It's, it's crucial, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, I actually, but I you have, lived through it. I Here did, you are. I, I survived. Uh, my wife says I didn't, but uh, <laughs> uh, I actually had two uh, phenomenal teachers. I spent 10 years with Tatiana Zelikman in the Essendon School of Music, and then seven years in the conservatory with Lev Nomov. Both teachers coming from the same tradition of Henrik Neuhaus, uh, and Lev Nomov was his assistant, Tatiana was the student of another his assistant, Theodor Gutmann. So the idea of passion with, with music, the dedication to the score, it's, it's there. Yes, I would say that Tatiana was probably much more strict, and she had to deal with kids, you know, and we were not easy, for sure. Uh, in the conservatory, it's a different mentality, I believe. And uh, Naumov, what I think he was, what's ama was amazing about him was that every time when he would open the score, it seemed like he saw it for the very first time. And he always had this fresh approach, and he would just open the score, look at it, and would rediscover the piece alongside with you. He would just take you along on this journey, and you've been just so inspired by him being inspired and fascinated by every single detail. And uh, you know he was also a composer, a theory professor at the very same time. So uh, he was absolutely a magnificent uh, person, teacher, and mentor to me. Mm. What's going on the rest of the summer? What do you do? I travel. I actually, I'm very happy. The summer is going to be uh, quite interesting because I'm taking my family with me on tour, and we have two little kids. I have uh, an older son who doesn't live with me, unfortunately, but two other kids do still. And, uh, How old are they? Almost three years and nine months. Wow. Yeah. And I hope they will survive that, yeah. that journey. But you're going to Indonesia? Indonesia is wow. next. Uh, that's just teaching and uh, a little bit of... But they're work. going to Indonesia, oh, no. everybody. No. Okay. Oh. <laughs> no, only you. <laughs> Alex Coburn, thank you so much for thank being so with much. us. Thank you.